Despicable 3! Good afternoon everyone. It is day two today and this is the first time we've picked up the proper camera. We've spent the morning just chilling by the pool, got up early enough for breakfast, bonus. It's been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah, back lounges by the pool. Yeah, they are so comfy. We still weren't early enough to get the ones that are by the shade by the pool. Hmm. But we didn't get down to the pool till about like nine o'clock, so that's not bad, is yeah, it? It's brilliant. But the main plan for today was to get a taxi to the local like resort. Civilly, I think it's pronounced, but probably I'm gonna not. type it up on the screen just so people can actually see what it is, because I ain't got a clue how to pronounce it. But it'll be really nice. We drove through it when we were getting dropped off and it looked pretty good. Yeah, it looked lovely. Didn't it? But we didn't want to go first thing this morning, so I know like some resorts like it don't really liven up a bit till the afternoon does it like oh, what we're we expecting so not expect anything too lively <laughs> but we want stuff to be open so we thought we'd have a bit of a chill get a taxi in the afternoon it's now one o'clock and go and explore for a the bit evening of an explore, yeah. yeah looking forward to it yeah. i can't wait yeah i'm really excited jim's excited because he saw there was an iceland there <laughs> i've seen an iceland yeah more excited about a ferris wheel in a crazy golf but yeah iceland is right up <laughs> there as well jim's feral about iceland feral feral <laughs> What's he feral about Iceland? I don't know what that word is. Where's he learned that word? <laughs> One thing that Jimmy has loved this holiday, well not loved, but he's picked us up on it, yeah. that me and Steph apparently say every day, let's suss it out. Suss it out, And it's yeah. been driving him mad, but nah, Jim started saying it, haven't you? Because of you two. So we're going to suss out civilly. Here we go. Right and then. we're going to suss out how the taxi works. Right, let's go. So that was easy enough. We just asked them at reception. They said it'll be about 10 minutes. So we're just waiting outside, listening to the chirping. I don't know what that chirping is, but it's like round all the olive trees as well, isn't it? Yeah. When you're by the pool. I don't know if it's a bird. Well, I'm presuming it's a bird. By the way, got my pronunciation spot wrong. <laughs> spot wrong. And he can't remember how the man pronounced it either. So we will find out on this trip. Again, I'll just write it on the screen what it's called. That's not going to help with pronunciation, is it? I can, I can read what it's called. I'm feral about finding out how to pronounce it. We reckon this is our taxi pulling up, although Jim was a bit scared when it went to turn around. You're like, oh, maybe not. Dead end down there. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> Scared. Jim was petrified. We've made it here in one piece. Not too many uh, phone calls and uh, overtaking going on, but it was only uh, eight euros, so that's not too bad, is it? I can deal with that. First ride of the holiday, that was, wasn't I it? I know, I know. But where he's dropped us off, there's this floaty that I know like Jimmy would absolutely love. This has got Jimmy's name written all over it. He is obsessed with pugs. Look how massive it is as well, Jimmy. How much is it? 26. So the plan is for the first thing to do is find somewhere just for a quick bit of lunch. Jimmy's absolutely starving, but we're really quite excited to try somewhere different that isn't at the hotel. Looks like there's quite a lot of options, but it's still pretty quiet at the moment, so we'll see where's open. It's pretty quiet at the moment, isn't it, Jim? I think we've settled. We're going to go to this place, Aris. It looks like they've got a few deals on. Greek meze for two. Let's hope they don't give us a kick up the Aris. <laughs> this looks quite good too, Jim. Two gyros and a Greek salad for 7 90 not bad. Kids menu if he wants it. Yeah, I quite like when they've got the menu up the front so you know exactly what you're getting. It looks like got a bit of everything here, doesn't it? Uh, kids menu's just here, hon. I think what me and Jim are gonna do is go for this Greek meze for two because we both absolutely love tzatziki. It looks like you just get a bit of everything there. Risking it, Jim. <laughs> what are you fancying, Jimmy? Margarita pizza, that's just like cheese. Yeah, you up for that? Nice. Just call him Kevin McAllister. <laughs> that's what he has in Home Alone. Just cheese for Kevin. Let's see what beer Jim's been given. I don't know how you pronounce that. I quite like your glass you got because it makes your hands look massive because you're so used to seeing these like tankards as like the big ones, aren't you? Like the German ones. And I've only got dainty little hands. Yeah, I've only got dainty hands, haven't you? Oh, oh cheers, Jim. <laughs> and then we've got cans of Coke, 330 mils, but they're like tall and thin. They're not like the UK ones, are they? It's sophisticated looking can, though, isn't it? It's sophisticated looking. It's not stumpy like uh, us in the UK. <laughs> to be fair, Jimmy, that looks lovely. I don't know if I'll get that. <laughs> Me and Jim have been given a plate and knife and fork, so I'm guessing it must come out sort of like in the middle then. This looks absolutely amazing. Bit of everything, eh? Absolutely, a lot of everything. So there's a couple of like kebab things there. No, that's tzatziki. That looks like meatballs, potatoes, pit of bread. Pit of bread. Oh, yes. This looks really good, doesn't it? How's the pizza been? It's been lovely. I'm not sure I'll be on that for the rest of my life. 
Dear yeah. God. Proper creamy. Like proper creamy screen, nice. <laughs> Every single thing on here tastes absolutely amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Do you know what I mean? It's good, but I won't expect it to be this good. <laughs> it's really nice. Not a bad thing, yeah. You're enjoying a little taste of what you've had, aren't you? It's amazing. I can't believe we ate all that food. We made a good old dinner in that, haven't we? We did really well, didn't we? Jimmy only left one slice, didn't you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Fill up that. Jimmy did also help us out a little bit with our ones, didn't he? He had like a little taste of a few things. But that was amazing. Because uh, a lot of that stuff on there is stuff that we would just usually order, isn't it? So it's quite nice to order like like a platter sort of thing. So we get to try new things. But we both really enjoyed that. I think we'll remember that like this meal from the holiday. Yeah. Oh, we're starting the day off well. This is amazing value. So this Aries, Aris, Aries. 17, 6, 2, 2 and 3, so the total is 30 euros. Are you happy with that for 30 euros? Yeah, really Such nice. good value. value. This bit's wasted on Steph, but I like that on the card. Scents and flavours of Greece, scents of Aris. Steph's still looking at me, not got a clue what I'm on about though. Lovely, proper little cute place. Do you enjoy that, Jim? Really? really nice. I do wonder if it's meant to be Aries though. <laughs> sit with Aris. Yeah. Where we're going to next, literally just over the road, is this Nephew's Travel. Uh, we've been after a tour to the Shipwreck Pirate Cove place. So we're going to see what they can do there. So unfortunately, the only day they had for the Shipwreck one is Friday, and that's the day we go home. So we don't really want to be doing any tours that day. The one that they do have, which we could do, is on Tuesday, and that's um, Turtle Spotting, which does look really nice. But we just need to like work out if that's what we want to do and that's like 12 till 5 isn't it? Yeah. Quite nice hours as well. So we've got the information in like a little booklet and we'll have a little read through before we make a decision, yeah? So the next tour company that we found does do one to Shipwreck Cove, but that's on Wednesday when we've already got a tour. They do another tour which is a, instead of just Shipwreck Cove, it goes all the way around the island. But that's on Tuesday and it's 8 hours and you've got to wear your mask like the whole time. So. We're just like a little bit on the fence because we do really want to go and see this like shipwreck cove but i don't know if i'd want like the eight hours on a boat with the mask so we're just sort of talking it over with a drink might just have like a little bit more of a wander around search on the phone see what we can find online i don't mind the masks for a little bit but out of the eight hours only two hours are like off the boat time so it'd be like six hours wouldn't it with the mask on we shall see that one was quite a good price though, weren't it? Yeah. Weren't it like 22 euros for adults for like eight hours on a boat? 27 euros adults, 17 euros kids. So 27 and 17, it's not a bad price, is it? No, it's quite good. Yeah. Where we decided to stop is Magdalena's bar and I've got a strawberry milkshake. Jim's gone for a pina colada. You love them, don't you? Oh, okay, it's fine. Me in a glass, this is. <laughs> Jimmy's has just come and he's got a milky bar milkshake, can't you, mate? Milky Way, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It's Milky Way, sorry. It is with chocolate in there. Is it? Is it nice? There's a bit of chocolate in it. Oh, I'm getting a bit of milkshake envy <laughs> with a strawberry one. No envy over here. No? You happy with your bean? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that was a super nice pit stop, weren't nice it? Lovely, Came yeah. to 14 euros for the pina colada and two milkshakes. It was nice just set out the sun and the guys here they put the fans on for us as well so Jimmy's like proper cool down. What I want to do now though is want to try and find some bubble bath because we've got a bath and we haven't prepared for that and we want to find a floaty like an inflatable for the pool for you don't we Jimmy. He's got his eye on a few and he's seen a flamingo he likes, donut, pug. <laughs> There's quite a few options here. It's 26 euros. A bit pricey, the plug, isn't it? That was quite lucky we found a spa shop. So we managed to get in there like six cans of Fanta for the room. We've got some like crisps and sweets for the room and some um, bubble bath as well, which is really good. So at least we're stocked up on a few bits that we wanted. Uh, I think we'll just go have one drown now. We saw a crazy golf as well, didn't we? We, we thought we might do. Did. Just for a bit of an activity while we're out. If I crouch down really low and crop out the junk down there, could almost be a bit of a Disney wall, that, couldn't it? 
or that Florida guy's living room. <laughs> I'm a bit gutted that we're going to be back in the resort because I could just do with a bit of Elton John madness. Do you know any Elton John songs? I can't think what my favourite one of his is. Crocodile Rockets, Scarlet Rockets. It's alright, fighting Jimbo. <laughs> Following the dinosaur prints, and this is what we're going to do the fantasy mini golf. It's like dinosaur themed, I think. Looks quite cool. It says the biggest and best in Greece, Jimmy. So what's the price? So I think we'd just do the nine hole, wouldn't we? Four euros. That's not bad, is it? We do nine. I'll do the full one. Yeah, do you wanna? I'll do the full one, Jim. I think. All right, eighteen in it. So we know what happened with John Wayne from the great movie ride. It's been relocated. <laughs> yeah, great movie ride vibes. They've got three different courses. There's a red one, blue one, and there's a green one as well. But I really want to do the one with the uh, volcano. So we're going to do the green one. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it looks yeah. crazy. No yellow is more favourite colour. Ah, uh, uh, Jimmy's letting me be yellow. Yeah, that's your favourite colour. Thanks, you're going to be my red. Favorite your favourite is green, isn't it? Yeah. My favourite is blue. Blue. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Jurassic Park vibes. Yeah, da, ba, ba, ba. I'm seriously doing it right, to the point where it's just like, okay, stop. <laughs> it's Orange's sister, that is. <laughs> blue. <laughs> Purple. You like him, he's blue. Like him. <laughs> this is a really nice course, and what I appreciate is that there's benches as well, sort of as you go around in the shade. Uh, I love the volcano, Volcano Bay vibes. And there's another bench under cover there as well, <laughs> Volcano Bay. <laughs> You right, Jim? I did that before. Are you enjoying it? I'm sweating, that's cool. Oh no, it's so hot, isn't it? The fatal error we did was come and start it without getting any drinks. I've just run back up to the start. And it was two euros each, six euros, but God, I'm ready for a drink, aren't you? We're doing it speedy now, where we're not counting each other's like goals competitively. We're just like, all just doing it, just because it's so hot. And I think when you do it like one by one, tallying up scores, it just takes that little bit longer. So it's about, I think it's about five o'clock now, so it's, you know, sometime the sky is pretty hot. Looking forward to this next hole, are you? Yeah. This one, we've got to go up in, in the volcano, I think, looking at it. All around the volcano. Can't go over it, can't go under it. You gotta go through it. Lava, lava, lava. Looking forward to... I'm glad we don't keep getting it all up each day. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. So up at the top, it comes down to this little bit here. That's really cool though, isn't it? Yeah. I really like the waterfall at the front of the volcano as well. Me and Jim are absolutely cracking up at this last hole. It's proper like Jungle Cruise vibes, isn't it? Backside of the Aris of Water. Isn't it the, uh, the eighth wonder of the world? The backside of water, I'll show you. So you've got the volcano waterfall up there, and then the backside of water, is in the hole, how about that? Come on, the gym lads. He's had one hole in one, let's see if he can... Oh, Got it. You only had one hole in one, haven't you? Someone order a hole in four. <laughs> the taxi driver from earlier gave us his card, so we phoned him up, and to be fair to me, he was there like within five minutes, weren't he? Spot on, yeah. So eight euros while well, we paid 10 to come back again. One thing we did forget to buy though was a floaty for Jim for the pool, but the hotel has got a shop here just to the left of reception as you look at it. So we're gonna head in there and see what they've got. If not, then there's a shop like at the top of the hill that you'll go to in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. I ain't volunteering for walking up that hill. <laughs> we have a winner. There was only 12 euros, I thought then maybe rip you off a little bit more than that. So. And even got it pumped up. I know. She had something that looked like a car tyre pump, didn't she? That uh, pumped it right up. Just behind the till. We're back in the room and the aircon feels amazing, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And I didn't realise when we were in spa that Jim bought some of my favourite sweets. I'm well happy with that. I'll show you what he's got me. Or should I say got us? No, got you. Me? So, they're yours. See your Thanks. I love Haribo peaches. That was Jimmy's pick. What's he got? My ones, yeah. Because it's the mixed ones, Jim, and it? it's got all the different ones. Nice. And what you got? I've gone for the taste of grease. Oh, that's typical you, that is. Local cuisine. <laughs> Ain't for double egg and chips, you know. Ain't for the authentic stuff. He's going to be begging me for the peaches later. Ain't begging you for no peach. <laughs> when I was looking for the bubble bath in the spa shop, I couldn't find anything that, like, says bubble bath on it, apart from, like, your Johnson's Lavender Baby 
bath for like going to bed helps baby sleep better but I thought it's not really what me and Jimmy are looking for in a uh, bubble bath so I went for this one which is a Greek one but it says on it bath cream so I'm hoping if it is just like a shower gel thing I'll just be able to like whip it up and get some bubbles but we bought a really nice shower gel that's like it's one of the ones where you like spray out a gel and then it turns like foamy and so I didn't want to use all of that up because that's our only like shower gel we've got for while we're out here so if we we're using it for like a bubble bath and shower gel we'd run out of it so that's my lengthy explanation of why we're buying bubble bath on a Greek holiday. <laughs> Jimmy's just chilling on the crock aren't you mate? <laughs> gonna get your switch oh have a bit of a chill out. <laughs> so our plan for now I think we're just gonna chill out for a couple of hours in the air con because after like being stood out for like the golf I think we're all just a bit hot and I don't want us getting like sunstroke and then like losing a day. Really enjoyed that town though. Yeah, it's nice. Really it was a nice. really nice town. I think if we were to go there again, we'll, well, we are planning on going there again, but we'll go at night time, you know, where it's like dark. So there was like loads of lights and stuff. It looked really cool. And there was a couple of places that were shut during the day, you know, like the uh, big wheel. The fun part, but all the restaurants yeah. and bars and stuff, everything seemed open. So yeah. if you are coming out here, it's yeah, definitely business is normal, isn't it? Well, Business is the new normal. <laughs> so what we'll do, I think, is just have a chill and then catch up with everyone in like a little bit. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds good. I might go and use my bubble bath. <laughs> I might. I'm that hot and sweaty. Really? Mm. Well, a bubble bath reaches parts that showers just <laughs> down, doesn't it, really? So. Harris. Nothing to do with Harris. <laughs> oh, let's hope you're not watching this for your dinner. <laughs> so we had a really relaxing afternoon. I had a bath. Jimmy had a bath. Jim went to the bar <laughs> and then we got ready for the live stream. I'll show you what our like little set setup was just so hopefully it like makes a little bit of sense to people who watched it. Excuse the mess over there but basically we just like balanced my phone on this <laughs> on top of like a little pouffet on top of a what's that a suitcase and then like sat on the end here. So it wasn't exactly the most professional live stream but it was a lot of fun actually uh, a lot of comments were coming through quite quick though so i'm sorry because we couldn't like keep up with them but the live stream saves to youtube so what i'll do is i'll link that down below just in case anyone wanted to see us unedited <laughs> i like it when jim is edited <laughs> so i just want to tell you about this excursion we booked as well so earlier in the day we went to like two different places didn't we trying to get somewhere for smugglers cove but we saw this website on a vlog it was a couple of americans i think American wasn't it couple, yeah. who like vlogged the island and the website is it's called luxury island events i don't know much about them but anyway they do lots of different tours and they do like private hire like boats and things that's like 500 euros so that's a bit out of budget they advertised on there that they do this like tour to the shipwreck cove and like you pick your day and it ended up being like 90 euros so it's like 86 quid and then you wait for them to email you back but my main criteria for like wanting to book an excursion was that I wanted to be there in the morning because we'd read reviews that like come lunchtime that's when like all like the big boats descend and I don't think I'd want to go with it all being like packed yeah. out with thousands of people and this tour does one either nine till one or like two till six I think it is so I emailed them asking if they had like the morning one and they did and they can do us on Tuesday so we've nice? yeah so we didn't book i mean they were lovely the people like the booths Fantastic. that we went to yeah, really and nice, i would yeah. like to have booked with them but they weren't doing it on like days or times that suited us um so it's just a shame really that it didn't work out with those but you know we'll, we'll see how this goes <laughs> anyway what are we doing tomorrow we're gonna be like seeing by the pool for kind of a pool day yeah, I think we're going to have a bit of a pool morning. And then in the evening, we're thinking maybe of going back to that. Into town. Into town, yeah. But just like to like see it at night time with like the nightlife and everything. So that'll be cool. Yeah, look forward to tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We've got an open mind. So tomorrow's Monday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, we need to change the pool towels. You can only change pool towels on a Saturday, Monday or Wednesday. So we need to change pool towels. I also, um, yesterday I thought it was Tuesday. Oh, you did. You did yeah. lose no, track. No, today you thought it was Tuesday. We had that conversation today when I was going up the slides. Is that today? Hmm? I thought Days are all blurring into one gym, aren't they? <laughs> Losing track. Anyway, I think we're going to end it here for tonight because we're all a bit shattered after the live stream, aren't mm. we? Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We will. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.
So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye.